Hello students, good day. For today's lesson in English project, turn to page 34 of your book, letter D, my school. Let's start with the vocabulary words. Unit 3, my school. Exercise 1A. Look at the pictures. Listen and repeat. 1. Geography 2. History 3. Art and Design 4. English 5. French 6. ICT Information and Communication Technology Seven. Maths. Eight. RE. Religious education. Nine. PE. Physical education. Ten. Music. Science. Eleven. Biology. 12. Physics 13. Chemistry 14. Design and Technology 15. Citizenship Now look at the vocabulary words. What are your favorite subjects? Which subjects are you good at? Can you check the subjects that you like? Now look at the comprehension number two. Erica's timetable and the text with the photos. Answer the questions right after looking at it. You have there the timetable of Erica Wilson, class 8A. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. The class would start at 8.30, assembly time, registration, 9 to 10, 10, 5 to 11, 5, 11, 5 to 11, 20, 11, 20 to 12, 20, 12, 20 to 1, 20, 1, 20 to 2, 20, 2.25 to 3.25. So you have there the timetable of Erica Wilson. Look at each day and observe if how many hours does Erica spend in each day. Let's answer the questions. Number one, what class is Erica in? You have there the answer, class 8A. Number 2. What lessons has she got on Wednesday? Look at the timetable. You can see there that on Wednesday, she has got a class on English, History, Math, and Games. 
Question number three. Has she got lessons on Saturday? The answer would be no. Number four. What are PE, RE, and ICT stands for? So you have there number four. The answer would be physical education, religious education, information and communication technology. Number four. When has she got a double period of maths? The answer would be on Friday. Question number six. How many students are in her class? So, the answer would be 30. There are 30 students in her class. Next, last question number seven. Which science has she got this term? Because she is in class eight, she has got chemistry this term. Now turn to page 35 of your book. Look at the collage of Erica's timetable and activities in her school. Picture number one. This is my school. I'm in year eight. There are 30 students in my class. Picture number two. We wear a uniform. Picture number three. We've got four periods of science a week. We do one science each term. This term, it's chemistry. Last term, it was biology. And next term, it's physics. Wednesday afternoon is a great... We have games. Now in your activity, Writing letter A. Write your timetable in English. Write your schedule just like Erica's timetable. Write the date, the time, the days, and what are the subjects that is in each time. Don't forget to write your name your class and the days and also the time the schedule 
of each subject in your class. Next, answer letter B. What is your favorite day and why? And next, answer letter C. Compare Erica's timetable or class schedule in exercise 2 with your school timetable. Compare it if you have the same subjects with Erica. Write your answers on the space provided of your book. Next, pronunciation. Listen and repeat. Exercise 6a. Listen and repeat. Ch. Watch. J. Badge. And that would be all for today's lesson. Once again, this is Teacher Christia. I hope you have learned something from today's lesson. See you again on the next video. Bye-bye! Jazz is a wonderful world. Jazz